Getting smokes come over the site. Two players curled up on the site in the middle of it. Two rotating in, one jumping up top bomb. Jacob, again, the first line of defense. Players dying around him. The team, 100 Thieves, are doing so well to pick up two, three kills for the price of one in Azza. He's also going to make a name for the 100 Thieves team. Bentet dies and 100 Thieves win. That's a hold and a half. Couple players again curled up on the site. They're keeping an eye on Ivy, but there's no Ivy players to fight. This is going to be a bloodbath. Big clash on the outer yard. Seems like Gen G are going to get the best of it to start, but Az is still up, and he's come in with multi kills before. Can't manage anything more than the first one. Liaz also empty handed. That's just going to be JKS one versus four. Now, three of these T's are incredibly tagged, but Som does an excellent job of headshotting him. It looked like Jacob was coming for him, but it looked like from Jacob's perspective, he was actually going towards the ladder. That could have been a free frag for some. It's like the it's like the heavy weight room at the gym. Oh, but it's Jacob to die first. He tries to move forward into the T-Con. Gratis faction, scope up, decides to watch the right side and just looks away. Oh. Grat looking for that flick. Nicely done. Well handled here by 100 Thieves. Stopping that second attempt at the pressure outside. Oh my god, I thought that grenade was going to blow Som away, but he just moves so fast forward that nobody can actually stop him. Liaz, he's trying to burn bullets through the smoke. Swapping over to the pistol now. He knows Som's close. Bentet, automatic Som. Three frags simultaneous. Genji back on the board, and it only costs them Kusta. He's peeking it cautiously. He's ready in expectation with gratisfaction by his side. It's a 4v3 now. Come on, 100 Thieves. Let's get this retake rolling. Kusta, gonna try to knock bodies back with the op. Z smoke fades. His sniper connects to the mark. And now Kusta has to jump to try and dodge the fire, but that's not fast enough. Som, deep Molotov, throws it downwards, and they have not stuck this bomb, so he doesn't have to peek, but he goes out anyways, trying to take players with him. He kills JKS at the top of the ladder, and somebody has to defuse. Som, he's not able to get gratisfaction fast enough. It comes down to the wire. Gen G shooting for the fifth. Oh, they've got it. The explosion sends gratisfaction packing. Oh, he actually didn't. Oh, sorry. It would have been Kusa to have the shadow advantage if, if Jacob started walking forward. That's my mistake. But uh, either way, I think if he didn't switch, he would have been just Ooh. fine to nail that shot. Hey, this round could have got more competitive. Big pick up here by JKS. Long lines of sights from his spot. This is where you would normally be off and he's happy to do it. Flash goes over. Clearly imperfect, though, and depth dismantles both. That's a great round for Gen G. They peek into Tcon, they see nothing. 100 Thieves just kind of letting Gen G make plays. And and I feel like that has been uh that has been a bit of an issue. You know, Gen G haven't really been interrupted all too often. JKS, though, here in the box halls, ready for the second peak. Nicely done. Two headshot kills there versus Kusta and Bentet. He drops. Oh, oh no! Missed the ladder. Net wasn't, wasn't going far enough to hit the pallet. Missed the ladder as the second option. They still. There's a Molly burning, so Daps is 100% going to catch up. Get your gun out! AK oh. swapping back over. He's spotted. Nearly killed by Gratis Faction, who then does pick it up. That is big for oh. Grat to turn back and slap him. It's automatic. Oh. Fully blind. Big retake here for 100 Thieves. Let's see the fireworks unfold. Automatic's ready. Oh, collateral. Almost gets the second kill, but at least softens Gratis Faction. Follows up with the next bullet. Connecting is also Liaz. Two versus three. It's a man disadvantage for 100 Thieves to play against, but JKS doesn't Ooh. quite mind. Still on time. Gen G trades. But that's that's the only other thing, but that's like standard. That's not even real pressure. Oh, a couple of good kills from Liaz. The HE had a big impact, but oh my god, it's all fragging from there on out. Huge moves. Sick hold. Oh, and he even draws automatic into a helping hand from Gratis Faction. This, he should be saving, actually. This, this half's not over. What is he even trying? The bomb's in the in the sight. There's no chance. Somebody jumped right by. Saw him. Two. Oh, my goodness. And then automatic's like, don't worry. I will pick this up. I will handle them well. And saw him all the way past the oil train. Is able to catch Jacob too. So, three versus three. Last round of the half. And very well could close as close as possible. 100 Thieves gunning for a seven. 
Never wanting to give up more rounds than you win on the CT side of train, but hell, if you can cut up to just one, then you're all right. Daps, gonna have to try to replicate what Som once did, the 1v3 from the top rope, shut down, and the Aussies managed to pull this one off. Seven to eight at the end of their CT side. It's a three-piece from Gratisfaction there in the final round. We'll find yeah, out. Another question. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, Tell this me. round is, yeah, off to a flying start. So take it away, Connor. All right, you hold that point. We'll get back to it. Gratisfaction slapping Kusta down there through the tip of the smoke. He's even trying to run around the plant train. And hell, it's working out well. Ventet removed 5v2. Som and Daps. Okay. Oh my goodness. Already almost back to the even keel. Som tapping for the head. Gets it done. He's on for the ace. And Daps, well, he can't manage a single kill here, so Som's going to have everything to do. Knows he's close. He needs the headshot. And it was right there for him. 100 Thieves tying it up at 8. All the way kind of back down to well before, la like, into last year. So it's nice to see him playing really well because we know what, what he can do. Oh, damn. This right off of the pause did not let you catch your breath. Came out of nowhere with the all-out T-Con hit into the A site. Sometimes I love that, you know, the throwback. Astralis, Virtus Pro. Automatic yeah, looking to hang on to the off. Oh, he misses the shot on a rapid moving Azer. Automatic gets called back through Z. Kusta. Ooh, Kusta, he slipped through T-Con, gets a free AK because Liaz was tasked with holding the Ivy flank. Now that's actually huge. A second weapon picked up and the terrorists get forced into the lying weight of Automatic who actually drops the bomb of all things. Another player comes down before there's any sort of smoke to get them out. No flash either, but JKS, crab walking on the top rope, gets the head of Kusta, and Som's Deeg with Automatic's op is enough to rob the round. A single AWP <laughs> throws a smoke over to the A site. Bentet's gonna get a flashbang dropped on his head and a follow-up looks away. Was that a decoy? I think it might have been. Yeah, didn't hear a Sorry, flash off at all, yeah. Yeah, not it, at all. It totally could have been. I jumped, I'm jumping in server to go check. Ooh, JKS. Whoa, that's a good trade. It's actually a one-on-two situation. Okay, it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Automatic grabs that frag, goes ahead, and tries to pick up some extra utility. It won't be on the ramp. That's the biggest issue. It's actually up top, and uh, Automatic, he is not tapping the bomb just yet and, and hasn't tapped it yet, so there's not much reason to peek, and Azur, as he's looking for it, finds the perfect moment to peek out. Gonna throw the bomb to Liaz. This is gonna be majority of their members up on the high road. Automatic inside of the bomb site. Good damage early by that scout. And they're trying to hang on. Not doing a bad job either. They got that man advantage. 50 seconds. Kusta coming in from behind. And Gratisfaction, well, he's down for the count. The Deagles pan out. But uh, that last pistol round win from Gen G actually forces them back down into the economic dumps. It's not gonna stop JKS from catching Bentet first and foremost. That's the kill inside of ladder. But over here on Ivy, where Som dries our eyes, we have a kills aplenty. Now he does smoke off the third player and decide to look elsewhere, which works out for him. Comes back, grabs another. He has one HP and four frags to his name. Mm -hmm. the last one could be the biggest. Automatic with the USP. Ooh, that grenade. Oh, hurts if you're Jacob. He's just gonna decide to run right out. Little drive-by Galil doesn't even stop to take aim, just cuts down one of the CTs. But Bentet and Kusta each with a kill apiece, keeping it even at three players each. We do have Daps doubling back through the CT spawn. Nothing wrong with that. Liaz, though, on the other side of smoke, he's going to go down. That bomb plant was actually a fake. They're trying to get oh. Bentet to make his play, and he's doing it and then some. Jumping down to 15 HP. He's very much concerned that they're coming in from elsewhere. That Molotov spells disaster. Daps He's reading books and lifting weights at the very same time. I've actually seen Semler do that. Kusta, I've seen that good damage off the top of the train, and it's still Azur slain. He got himself two kills though, so very nicely done. Som cooking, roasting back here by Ivy, and Justin Savage, 1v3. 
Guns down automatic first and foremost. However, there's a player to his right, Song. He just missed the shot. <gasps> and now PKS, he's ready for this. A single kill separates him and his team from a 14th round and the lead. But he doesn't have the bomb <laughs> and daps. Shuts it all down. Automatic, a scout on Bentet and just pistols on the rest of them. It'll really come down to automatic. See if he can get a kill or some. Another Deagle 3K maybe. He gets two off body shots. Gratisfaction trades back, but it's still Gen G. Three players up. Oh, he's just flustered. He's flustered. And Jacob's gonna have to come in with a massive clutch. He peeks into the rifles that have been retrieved by Gen G. Double flashbang to try and play with. He sees Kusta, both players, confirming one another's position. Oh. And Jacob makes it his mission to keep 100 Thieves in the lead. Just tracking people through walls here, listening to their footsteps, calling these audibles, confirming the information, dodging the flashbang. Saw him with a deagle, lends a helping hand, and then drops bomb. Oh my, this one's not done yet. Keep your eyes on Daps, fast flank, oh. denied by Jacob. Can he step up to the plate two rounds back to back? Well, they've got 40 seconds, and he's gonna call for that bomb to sprint over to the B site. Jacob's trying to beat Song into position. It's a long range duel. Kusta dies to it, and Kusta even hit the shot, but Jacob, he survives the Deagle bullet, and now Song. It all boils down whether they watch this, and it looks like Liaz has eyes turned. Song with one, but 100 thieves, they've made it happen. 16 14. It took the entire. Find out. Yeah, this is going to be the front runner here. There's three T's, three CT's, six bodies inside a connector. And, well, three of them go limp, all of which on the CT side. Sure, they lose Liaz in the engagement. Feels like a, feels like a clutch. Definitely unfavored situation. Looks like Automatic's about to get crushed. Ouch. That, that one hurts. Yeah. Oh, wow, him too. After that stair setup. Oh. Fly down into the water. No damage to worry about. Duck the landing. He's going to go ahead and tap the bomb, try to get to these T's to peak, and he finds nothing further. So the boost gets called out. It works out pretty well. And they maintain a man advantage moving into the 45 second mark of the round. Automatic jump spotting. Player here at long. Op can ring off a shot and bait them into the site. Also, do work and get a kill. Yeah, big peak from Bentet. He gets the double at the end. For them to have and it looks like SK anti eco on the rifle round as well oh the spray down the spam down from kusta it's been so good through that smoke so good as side of monster showing us how it's done two t's remain letting them make their play it's kind of crazy Ooh. honestly they could have walked into the site oh that's a great spam there and oh that sure. will go ahead and trade yeah he's got the run up on the side of the sidewalk Oh, Daps. He has managed to sneak past bathrooms, finds Liaz with no weapon in hand, and now 100 Thieves, they're going to get scrambled. Daps doubles back, bests JKS. That's a huge kill to get. Azur's inside of the bomb site, inside of the smoke. He could go ahead and just walk down by the dumpster. He finds a player throwing grenades. That's crucial. Two kills back in between Jacob and Azer. Kusta, he's going to go ahead and jump on top of the bomb, trying to stick the defuse. Elicits the peak and can do nothing about it. It looked like Daps had done enough. Super solid hold so far. Hey, now. Jacob, quick headshot, looking to rock and roll through the bomb site. Little smoke behind him here does give Kusta some wiggle room, but he wiggles right into the crosshair of JKS. Daps is in the water, and he's trying to find the timing on the peak. Gets one, and then he's shut right back down. Automatic and Benta in for the 2v3. That's a big pickup. Sniper finding Liaz as he comes off the plant. In fact, bomb's not even planted, and Bentet finds perfect timing on the flank. JKS 1v2. He knows exactly where these CTs are at. Has to isolate fights, get oh. the headshots, and he's kicked it off with at least one more. 15 seconds. Play on the wood. He's anticipating a peak, but it doesn't come his way. He's going to have to plant. Mandatory play. Automatic drops down. Oh, he didn't JKS hear didn't hear it, but he does once he gets closer. A step too far. And he does get around the corner, but not back into the bomb site. 
Liaz is able to get that next kill. This is creating tons of space for the T's to push forward. Liaz knows that he's the front runner here and he's gonna absolutely punish as much as he can. He will go until somebody stops him. That should be Som, but Som has to go back around through Vent, or rather Bank, and try to combine with Daps, who at this point is all alone. Awesome round coming out of 100 Thieves. I love the tenacity of Liaz. When he sees that player fall back from connector, I mean, you know that if you're Bentet, he's thinking he needs to kill somebody in con, doesn't want to run down there so that he's a confirmed death, but then can't even get back onto the bomb site to hold it down. So a huge, they're trying to get up to the A site in time to hold the line, but it's only Daps for the moment. He's inside of the corner, good for two kills. Can't manage that third one because Jacob starts to bring it back with the help of Gratisfaction. A minute on the clock, and they're gonna go ahead and put that bomb down. So the retake's on, and Automatics off finds another target. Oh. They've swept away the 100 thieves. Gen G find a fourth. That's probably creaming himself. Yeah, I mean, he's got to walk up on it. He still has a chance to flank. It's gonna look like a stairs flank now, and they're watching the yeah. flank. They're ready. JKS oh, comes he in for get the head Oh, that's a shame. That's such a shame. And there was a round where Daps was in the position of JKS. They were switched over and Daps got the best of him. So revenge. Sir Duck. Just like Automatic and Som on a silver platter. 100 Thieves taking a ninth round. Power. But mm. listen, if Daps it knows can... that even though he's flanked again, He's not going to get this round away from them. So goes for the damage. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Chill, chill, chill. Reel the commentary back, okay? Now, yep. put it in the oh, T's perspective. Oh my god. Is oh. this too little too late? Isn't that just insult to injury? At this point, 100 Thieves, they're winning rounds. They're giving up the post plant. But he's had to, he's had to fight for himself. This is Gen G just scrambling in some of these rounds. You know, once again, we, we saw a round nearly identical to this where Liaz just chews through the A site, charges into the bomb, and puts in work. JKS finds timing, daps, poor guy. A 1v5 for Kusta, and he doesn't get a chance. That last round, who's shooting who? Yeah. Rootin' tootin' gratisfaction, though. Up to the bat. Uh oh. oh. Yeah, not long for this world. Sorry, buddy. Nature of the beast. Four T's ready for his peak. Tom gonna just charge downwards, and Liaz puts him down for a nap. Kusta uh -huh. taps back with two, three, oh, and possibly the fourth here. He sees JKS. He wants it. That bomb's actually doubled away from the site, so this is quite the turn of affairs. If JKS can get this kill on the bomb site, ooh, he's not going to. Kusta, four frags for him. Here we go, big push. Listen, it's just the pistols. So we shouldn't be talking about much. Kusta, to be fully blind, jumps into three <laughs> CTs. He becomes one of them. You must know your enemy to defeat them. Azer, inside short, able to Whoa. land the CZ, not bad, versus Daps, he could bring it back, imagine. It's a tough job entering with the Jeez. Galil. Look at this angle that uh, Jacob's working with, Jesus, yeah. That's one way, wow, they got this interesting passive setup on, on inside of B, like no one's just standing up in the back of the pit. Off a headshot Jacob position. And that's the one that costs him, automatics off, connects. Hits the mark, but Liaz, he has been lights out on overpass. 17 and 12 as JKS comes in to cut them down. Automatic one versus four. That's a sixth first shot, but the USP of Azure is going to be too much to handle. Uh, Jacob has this depressed angle in pit. Is he going to be using that from like here on out? Is that something he uses once in a while? What are their other setups over towards B? I just want to know more. Wow. Okay. That's great Ouch. damage. Ouch. He gets four. Oh, got four. Oh, he probably couldn't have done that better. Holy smokes. Actually giving 100 Thieves a lot of space to get Big back flash. on their feet. Oh, Ooh. that's beautiful. Liaz times it to a T. Jacob lines him up and sends him packing. Whether he does it now to try and keep Gen G from mounting a comeback. This T side has some gusto. But I don't know. Two versus four into the B site. Dentet's gonna get cut down after Som gets the first kill, as has got them both dead to rights. Between him and- And as you pointed out, I mean, that flash, right? That's like one of those moments where everyone's got a plan until they get hit. 
And there wasn't an easy way to recover oh. from that. And oh my god, another spray down through the smoke. But it's only the one kill. Molly from Liaz, though. Oh, sorry, Azur. Oh, one tap. Nice, Pusta. Back in with another kill, but Azza can't maintain that spray. We've got a health advantage from two members of 100 Thieves. Straight up 2v2. JKS going to be smoked off. Gratis factions off in the heavens above. Now the Molotov confirms Song's position, but 